now retire. It's, it's one of the things that's... Hey, hey, yeah. <laughs> it's one of the things that, that, that is keeping me in the sport because I'm not sure what I'm going to do after the sport. Yeah. Um, I do know that at some way, in some way, shape or form, I'll be putting back all the help and assistance that I've got over mm -hmm. the years. It's not just cycling that I've taken from, it's swimming as well and I've yeah. got... 1994 I had my first international debut and mm -hmm. here we are what, 18 years later oh and uh, I'm, I'm still going strong yeah, so yeah. that's 18 years of experience on international teams that yeah. if I don't pass on to somebody it's just going to be lost uh, so whether it'll be a, whether it be coaching whether it be mentoring whether it may be um, even just like development of, of the sport and mm -hmm. stuff as long as I can have a kind of halfway into to feeding back that information yeah. I think that's going to be great I actually had two of my worst crashes in this virtual. Oh, no. <laughs> the first, yeah. but bad luck. Uh, yeah, there's, there's actually, a, I don't know whether you can make it out, but between the, the green of the track and the blue, oh, yes, it's yeah, slightly yeah. different here than it is in Manchester. And there's mm -hmm. actually an expansion gap all the way around the track. Right. And it's filled with like a silicon putty, yes. almost. Yeah. Well, in that far corner over there, um, we're on a training camp, must be about about five years ago and uh, I came off the track and the silicon had failed and oh. my front wheel got stuck in it and basically chucked me off like I was going down a tram line and the first thing that happened is my chin went straight into the ground I ended up uh, having seven stitches in my chin which, Ouch. Uh, which considering I just finished an effort where it, it, was, it was spewing quite a lot of blood at the time because <laughs> um, my heart rate was quite mm -hmm. high um, but yeah, we, we got that fixed and that was fine. Uh, and then my next big crash was also here, was when I was testing uh, like a new prosthetic at the time. Not mm -hmm. quite the one that I use in Beijing, but the one I had prior to that. Yeah. And uh, I was doing flying 200, which is basically you go right around the top of the track and then you mm -hmm. get out of the saddle and then you go flat out. Well, I was doing maybe 40, 45 miles an hour at the top of that corner there. 45 miles an hour, wow. And uh, my, the, the, the artificial leg and pedal system broke. And I went right over the handlebars and I slid from the top corner and I yeah. finished just there. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, but I was uh, basically my... on my hands and knees sliding all the way down Ouch. the track. Ouch! So, so I'm I guessing had... a little bit of burn was happening. I, I was, actually, I was very lucky. I, I didn't have any splinters in me, which is the one thing when you fall off, you tend of to course, get splinters. Yeah, I thought of that. Um, but like my, my jersey, I had a white jersey on it, it was black from here to here from all the rubber that was on the track. And there were loads of splinters that were kind of resting in the jersey but hadn't pierced the skin, oh. which was 